north east. east. Okay. East, north east. And we're going to uh, do the same we did yesterday. Some slow flight, some power on and off stalls, or power off stalls, power on stalls, steep turns, uh, emergency, S turns, turn around the point, and we'll come back. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Down our traffic, Jackie, 68 Whiskey Alpha, departing on runway 32 to the east northeast to do maneuvers. Tabbing our traffic. Button up, he's on, everything's good. Back pressure. Alright, uh, get our center line here on a nice rolling start. And there's the Alpha. We'll do a short full takeoff, remember? Oh, short. Okay, hold on. Back pressure. No back pressure. It's no normal takeoff. Right? No. So this is a normal takeoff. All you're doing is holding the brakes, full throttle, checking your instruments, building up thrust, so let go, and that rotation speed, you pull out and you climb out at VX instead of VY. Okay, so I don't get up on the ground. In fact, I keep it on the ground until rotation speed. Yep. But it's but still 20 degrees of flaps. Yep. Okay, all right. Here we go. Instruments are in the green. We're good. Here we go. Right rudder. Speed's coming alive. And rotate. Positive the rate of plumb. There's 200 feet in VY right now. Maintaining 200 feet of the X, the Y is what you climb out at after you're flying instead of flat. Okay, so right. now, alright, so now I'm staying at VY, which is 85. Speed's going to come down now. There goes the speed. Alright, so that's just short for takeoff. Nice and easy. Yep. Nothing hard about that one. Alright. Our traffic Cherokee 6 a Whiskey Alpha exiting the pattern to the east northeast to do maneuvers. Seven our traffic. You don't have to let them know you're doing maneuvers, okay. but you can let them know that you're departing to the east northeast. And um, so when you're at the tower airport, yeah. remember uh, he's going to be expecting you to do a radio work over at the tower airport. So. Um, So, he's going to be expecting you to, uh, to do all of that. Um, on the ground, all you're going to be telling him is, hey, I'm going to be doing a VFR northbound departure. Uh, when, you're, uh, when you're talking to Lakeland Ground, you're going to be at Lakeland Ground. This is Turkey 568 Wizzy Alpha. I have information Bravo. I'm at Shelter. And I'd like to request a VFR northbound departure. Gotcha, okay. Simple as that. Right. He's going to say, okay, you're here, taxi, Juliet, Alpha for runway 9. Alright? Roger that. Alright. But he's expecting you to do the radio work when you're there. Okay, so uh, no utilizing uh, crew resource management. Well, uh, some examiners are okay with that. Some aren't. I don't know if he is or he's not. But, uh, you know, as long as you're on your A game, yeah, you could possibly delegate uh, okay. some um, some tasks. Nothing major, of course. Right. But, like radio work, you know, you wouldn't delegate that to just a passenger. No, he, no, no, no. He, no. he the DPE, is legally the first passenger you have as a, as a uh, pilot. Very cool. Okay. But he acts as the first passenger. He doesn't even log the time. Oh, all right. So, yes, he's acting as your first passenger. Okay. And, um... Got a zero 030 zero heading. Good. And I always remember, once we get to that heading and we're uh, established, you're going to reach, cross-check it with your magnetic companies and say, okay, yep, these are good. Yeah, they're still, they're still lined up. Actually, if in, uh, this one here seems to be off. No, that one's uh, not off. That one's correcting for wind and all of that. Oh, well, right. 
Yeah, so that one's even more corrupt than this one is. Gotcha. So you go after these, not that one. Okay. I can turn my fuel tank off and my landing light off. And there's 2,500, bring the nose down. Nice leveling off smooth. And we're going to cruise here for a second. Okay, now what I'm going to tell you, we're going to discuss uh, BLRs for a second. Okay. okay. We really haven't played too much for that. So this is our BLR here, because this one's not working. Okay. Alright. So, this is the VOR we're we using. Okay. And this is the one that we're going to be using to test that VOR. Okay. Right? Over here, this radio is testing this one. This one will be us using this one, but this one's not working. Okay. So, we use this one, okay? You got it. Alright. So, uh -huh. those two are married. So, those two are married. Okay. So, what's happening with our VOR is... We're tuning in Lakeland's VOR, which is 116.0. Okay. Always remember that. If you don't know what Lakeland's VOR is, you can come over here to Lakeland. And you can hit it. That's a... Oh, okay, it's Lakeland. Okay, yeah. You can go to Info. And they may have the VOR listed on here. I guess they don't have it directly, but if you come over to Lakeland, and Lakeland's little box right there, if you look in Lakeland's airspace, yep. you see it has a box that says Lakeland, that says that's 116.0. 116 yeah. yeah. So that's how you find it. Any, any Class D or something, uh, we'll have to talk about just the map again before your check ride, so you know how the, what everything looks like and what everything is. But anyway, so Lakeland's VOR is 116.0. Okay. So what you do is, you tune in 116.0, We'll come over here, you'll tune in 116.0. Okay. Bam, 116.0. And you have it on voice, right? Okay. We want to switch that to ident. Oh, okay, all right. We want to switch that to ident because we have to identify that the Morse code here at Lakeland, that Morse code dot dash dot dot yep. dot dash dot dash dot dot. dot, dot. Yep. Yep. We're going to want to verify that, so we're going to... We have, we have it on ident, we have our volume, turn up here. And we're gonna hit, we're gonna come down here to nav, you see the bottom ones are nav? Yep. Nav 2, this is our nav 2 over here. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn that volume down a little bit, a little high. Sure. Yep. That's Lakeland VOR. So now we know that Lakeland VOR is tuned. We identified it. That's the right VOR that we want. So now we can come over here. And you uh, see that says two. Yep. So that means if we want to go to if we want to go to Lakeland right now, we can find out. So we want to make sure that flag says two, and we want to find out what radio we're going to be on from Lakeland, right? Or is what radio we'd be on to go to Lakeland. So, now you start turning this. Let's turn in the opposite direction. So now, once we get this centered up, we are approximately on the 145 radio. So if we turned right now, uh -huh. heading to 145, then we'd go, we'd be on, uh, we'd be going to Lakeland. I see, okay. Right, so we turn, if we made a nice big right turn to 145, that means we're on the 145 radio to go to Lakeland. Give me that. Sure, go ahead and turn. Nice easy turn. Right here, roll out. Cause you, you see how this is moving. Yeah. I mean, we kind of went past 
because when I turned into 145, we got flying for a little bit. So we went past. Oh, I see. Okay. So, all right. So now we can recenter it. And we'll say, okay, 150 needs to be our heading. Uh, uh, that's not right. Our VOR is definitely out of sync. Yeah, because here we are. Actually, no, it's not that bad out of sync, so. Keep so if we were to go to the right a little bit, like the 150. Let's go around to one of and see. Nah, uh, yeah, that's going way too much. I don't know, I think one of is correct. No, it's not. No, we'll pass it. Yep. Yep. Because there's the, uh, the little horn that sticks out of the plane is 10, is 10 miles. Yeah, we're way off, yep. So, this yep. is, so our VOR is out of sync. I'll let them know that at the airport. Um, it's out, it can it can be out. It needs to be adjusted every 30 days. You need to check it okay. legally if we are flying via or if we are flying. Is it? Uh, it looks like 130 is probably it. But let's go back in the other direction. Okay. So we're gonna flip a U-turn here. Oh yeah, we're gonna go back north. All right. But anywho, uh, so that's how you would do it. This is what you'd use to say, okay, if I want to get to Lakeland and all I have, I don't have any GPS or anything, but I got VOR. That's how you could find out how to get to Lakeland. I get it. Right? We could tune, we could listen and say, okay, that's Lakeland VOR. Let me t let me identify it. I identified it. Now I'm going to set this to and find out what radio I'm on to get to, to Lakeland. If I want to go go to Lakeland, I can find out what radio I'm on to Lakeland. If I want to go away from Lakeland, say I want to depart Lakeland and intercept the radio, I can say I can put this on. Um, you scroll around the from. We can, yes, we switch over to from, say we depart Lakeland, and we want to intercept the 350 radio from Lakeland. So we will take off from Lakeland, and then once we take off from Lakeland, we will fly to intercept the 18, uh, the 350 uh, radio, and then fly away from Lakeland on the 350 radio. Understood, okay. Okay, that's our VOR. Alright, so now we got a, uh, we're going back to our 360 heading. Remember, cross-check it with your compass once you get on that heading. Once we've done that, now you can say, okay, we're going to do slow flight here okay. at this altitude. No, you're blowing right past 360. Yeah, I'm watching that thing. I thought though if we'd go left, it would bring it back. So this goes in the opposite direction that you turn. So get get north on this first. Gotcha. So, once, north. so once you're established on north here, then say, okay, this says I'm on north. Cross check it here, and then readjust this to match that, and then yeah. turn to where you want to go. And now they're they're matched up now. No, they're not. So it's actually. One notch past the north in between the three. One more. Right there. So turn back to north, and actually you went too far past north, so it's right, that's what it shows. Okay, there you go. Now turn, turn to north. Go ahead. Roll out, there we are. There you go. Now you should be matched up on your compass pretty good, which we are. Okay, so now we'll pick the northern heading. So you're going to say, okay, we're going to go into slow flight. Slow okay. flight simulates that we're landing, right? Yep. What's the configuration in the airplane? All right, so fuel pump on. Our landing light's typically on. Oh, we'll, but we'll leave it off since we're out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. before we do slow flight, you're going to configure the airplane, and then you're going to do your clearing time. So you're going to say, I'm going to do a clearing time before I go into slow flight to make sure the area is clear. Okay, got you. Okay, so let's do a clearing turn first. So we're going to roll out here to the west. Nice 15 degree turn. And in your clearing turn, you're going to say, I'm looking for traffic above, below, and behind me. And I'm just scouring out a uh, place to land if we need to make an emergency landing. Okay. So I'm looking for traffic above, below, and beside me. As well as looking for a place to land if we need to for an emergency. 
And let me finish this clearing turn, heading back to our 360 heading. And at that time we will begin slow flight or simulated landing. Yeah, just slow flight. Slow flight, okay. And that was very good. I'm going to to give me some power here. Correct that. I uh, made that correction. All right. So I got us on our heading again. I'm correcting our altitude. We dropped about a 70 feet there. Okay, so let me reduce power now. There we are. We're on a 360 heading. And we are maintaining 2,500 feet. And we will begin slow flight. As of uh, as of now, okay. And this is where I need to keep my altitude correct. Yes. So I'm reducing power, and I'm just getting it to rotation speed. Is that correct? Uh, we're going to get it to 60 knots. 60 knots. Okay. get my altitude under control. All right, and once you get in slow flight, so once you've established slow flight, once you say, okay, I got my airspeed good, my altitude is good, you're gonna let him know, all right, I'm in slow flight, and that's when you're officially starting that maneuver, okay? Okay. So now you're getting set up, you're putting yourself in it, and once you're in it, you're gonna say, okay, I'm in slow flight. At that point, now he's, ma now he's expecting you to maintain everything. Yeah, let me drop some altitude real quick. I was actually giving it power instead of reducing power by mistake. Okay, we are now officially in slow flight, sir. All right. So we're going to maintain. Okay. Maintain 60 knots. And maintain, maintaining 2,500. Looking you up. Hey, Waldo, I sure am. Uh, where are you guys going? Use the trim to help out a little bit. I got Pearson. Uh, there we go. All right. And we're slow flight, we're maintaining our uh, no, uh, 360 heading. All right, let's make a right turn right. to 090. 090, while in slow flight? While in slow flight, that's what he's going to tell you to do. Okay. Remember, in slow flight, no more than 15 degrees of bank. I'm off, I'm uh, east of it. Yeah, I'm going to do a uh, circle around Pearson, and then I'm going to head back. Yeah, I'll see you back there. I'm going to go over to that place and uh, take a look. Okay. And we're rolling out of 090. All right, we now have a nice easterly heading. We're 60 knots, 2,500. And there's our easterly heading, 090, sir. All right, we're heading on the slope like. Let's turn back left to uh, 360. Back to 360. If it's a power here, I'm getting a little bit too slow. I don't want to stall us. A little bumpy right there. A few little bumps. A little bit more power. A smidge more power. And there we are. We're getting back to 360 heading, sir. And we are in slow fight, and I am correcting that altitude. Here at 60 knots. All right. 70 MPH. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and do... Um, let's do a power off stall. On this present we're heading. North, and this is not north. There we go. All right. So we're going to do a power off stall from this altitude or on this present heading. A power off now that's uh okay so tell me honey so i'm reducing power and make sure you stop that climb from happening so i'm reducing power here right so you reduce power you establish a descent okay once you have a, a descent established then your throttle comes all the way out okay so push to hold that remember you got to hold your heading that you establish let me get back to uh let me get back to 360 and okay, so we're going to establish a descent. All right, we're 360 now. Establishing a descent. There we are. There's our descent. And then producing power. 
Good. Reduce that throttle out of the way. Hold that pitch. It is full throttle. One set of four set of flaps. There you go. I get a positive rate of climb. Second set of flaps. No, you're not checking your airspeed. You just set positive rate. You never checked your airspeed to make sure you're at. Okay, now I'm at 74. It's my second set of flaps. There you go. Get back to 2,500. All right, so everything was good there. You let that nose come down. You you went full throttle and you dropped your first set of flaps. Perfect. But you got a positive rate, but you never cross-checked your airspeed to make sure you were here at VX and you were in a safe airspeed to start dropping flaps so you didn't stall again. Alright, that was just pure luck that we were in safe airspeed. Yeah, that actually. was just pure luck. I, pure need, luck. I need you to say that. Is that right? It was. I know it was right. Full throttle, I mean. one set of flaps. You, could, you completely... That was... Superb. But I just need you to make sure you cross-check that airspeed. Gotcha. Before you do it. But everything else in that was superb. Okay. I think it's back down to 2,500. That's power now. There we go. Alright, I've arrested that descent. I still, uh, I still trimmed this way up. Uh, you Since we were doing stuff, I figured I would, it just helps. Uh, it, nah, I mean, because remember that nose has got to come down, so when you're going into your power off style, you can retrim to set yourself up okay. pretty good at that right. point. I just put it back down to, back down to two spins that I had, that I took up. So now we're back to normal. Alright, so now let's go ahead and redo it. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do that again, uh, power off style. Alright, so we're going to establish, I mean, okay, flips. Hang on, let me All right, nice full flaps. Let me uh, Probably my kitchen. start our descent. Probably. There's our descent. And now we're going to pitch up. Reducing power. So flaps. Maintaining three to zero. Let me get my speed up to 74. I don't have enough gas to get the gas. Positive rate of climb has been established, 74. I may go there tomorrow. Change my heading. And positive rate of climb. Getting VX. I mean, right. Very good. Very good. All right, we're back to 2,500. Let me reduce power again. We're maintaining our 360 heading. And 360, they're matching up pretty, pretty close. And now we can go ahead and do a power on style. All right, power on style. Now is that with full flaps or not? Uh, no, remember power on style, you're taking off from the runway. Oh, this is a takeoff. Okay, great. Right. Yeah. I get it. So power on style is simulating a landing. Power on is simulating takeoff. There you go. Okay, right there. I can remember that. Pretty good. Let me uh, pick a cloud right there. It's a very faint, clear day. Alright, so let me go full power. No, remember what do we do when we're taking off of the runway? What do we have to reach first? We've got to reach rotation speed. So let me slow us down to rotation speed. Because again, we're simulating a takeoff. Nice. Get that nose up. Lead off the speed. Alright, speed is dissipating. Speed. There, it ought to start going way faster now. There it goes. Alright, there's the rotation. Right Alright. So full power. Hold it for a second. Alright, now start pitching up nice and easy. Slower than that. Hold. There you go. Nice and easy. Keep that pitch coming back. Keep that heading. We're way out north right now. I see that. Actually, no, we're good here. Because I'm looking at that cloud. Alright, good. There it is, no down. You felt it? Yep, I did. Nose down, no down, there you go. I'm about to back to the horizon. All I did is bring it up. And I'm still on the clouds. Alright. 
There we go. So now, that's yeah. all you need. Once you do that, you recover the maneuver that was the end of it. Okay. Let me get us back over here to a northern heading. 360. So, every time I'm off course or I'm out of sync, I'm relaying that and making the corrective action. So let me drop this altitude a little bit. Cracker Barrel, that sounds good. I love Cracker Barrel. Yeah, Cracker Barrel's pretty good. I haven't been there in a while, though. You know, I tell you what, when uh, Cassie and I are on do road trips, man, bro, we hit them all. Uh, we, uh, Cracker Barrel fell us all the way up to uh, the Smoky Mountains during uh, Christmas. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> we love it. I mean, I always get the same thing. I get the country boy breakfast, steak and eggs. Uh huh. I'm butter and steak and eggs, brother. Uh, well, I don't eat steak. I don't eat beef. So how about now? Yeah, right, right. Beef, it's what's for dinner. It's what's for dinner. Alright, let's do another power up. Okay, another power up. So let me slow us down to uh, rotation speed here. And you can bring that throttle back a little more if you want to slow down a little quicker. Okay. more miles an hour. All right. And there's rotation speed, full power. Drop the nose just a little bit. There we go. Here we are. Looking at my clouds. Don't start rolling that way. Keep your header. Good. Now you're going to have to add the right rudder, remember. There you okay. go. There it is. Uh, that horizon. Maintaining our northern heading, and we are good. Let me drop us back to 2000. And that was the end of your path on style. Simple as that. Alright. Alright. Alright, so you pick the heading, you pick the altitude, and we're going to do steep turns. Okay, alright. We've been going north for a while. Uh, there's nothing to our west. You want to just go west? Uh, sure. Because I'm just thinking if tra traffic is going to be to the east, there's less chance of traffic to the left, to the west. There's nothing west. All right, let's go that way then. All right, so we're going to go uh, 270 heading. And I'm driving some of this altitude, getting back to 2,500. Nice and easy. Our vertical speed, about 300 feet a minute. If I remember right, this is the one you said spin the wheel up a couple of times for steep turns. Eight. Is that right? Not, not up. Uh, you know, pull on it, pull the nose up. Oh, oh right, so you can pull it back. Yeah, twice. Two. 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 It's just like that. Oh, yeah, two. But don't do it yet. Not until you get into the turn. Overachiever. Overachiever, baby. Overachiever. Uh, All right, and remember, this is a cruising maneuver. Are you at cruising speeds? You're not at a slow flight or anything. You're just at cruising speeds. You're going to bank, and you're going to go to 45 degrees. Once we get 45 degrees, you uh, once we get past 30 degrees, you add a little boost of power to assist with that. Because we have our vertical lift right now, and we've taken some of that vertical lift and pushing it on the horizontal plane. I got you. So we're adding power to uh, replace that vertical lift that we lost when we banked. All right, so it's keeping us afloat and keeping us at the altitude we want. So we're going to bank, you're going to add a little piece of power, and then you can pull your disc back twice if you need to. Okay. All right? All right. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and start our seat turn. Okay. I'm getting the speed up right now. We're still inside the white arc. And make sure you're at below maneuvering airspeed. So you're going to do this 90 knots is good. So you're going to say, right, our maneuvering airspeed for your check ride is going to be 90 knots. Okay? Okay. All right. So basically, as soon as I get inside the yard at 100 miles per hour, I'm ready. Okay. we got a northwestern heading, and we're going to start our steep uh, turn, and we're going to do our first turn to the left. All right. Here we go. There's 30, there's 45 right there. Add a little more 
power. Uh, if you stop sinking too much, you ease out of the bank a little bit. Okay. Get that altitude back. Alright, back. Getting it back. There you go. Just turn a little bit. There we are. There's the back. Let me roll it out nice and easy. Don't oh. blow that. You blew it way big time. That was a fail. Because you blew past your heading more than 10 degrees. Okay, you okay, start to roll out 20 degrees ahead. 20 degrees ahead, okay. Alright, so you start on 270, that means 290, we need to start that roll out. Okay, let me just get us back 270, we're going to do that all over again. But outside of that, let me take these, one, two, I, I took that trim out as you added. Okay. And get your airspeed back under control. Alright, got a western heading, here we go. You're already fast going into this maneuver. I started it at 90 knots. Well, I'm talking about your throttle here. Remember, you're going to give a boost of throttle. If you go into that maneuver, you're at 2400, you give a boost of throttle, you're going to be at like 25, 2600 RPM. Uh, I get it, okay, alright. Alright, you can get back to a western heading. But make sure before you do it, you have all your controls. Because he's, you're not in a rush on your check ride. The check ride isn't, doesn't have to be rushed. So be completely calm and easy. So you're getting yourself established. When you're established, that's when the maneuver starts. When you say, okay, I'm ready. Gotcha, okay. Alright, well, I'll tell you when I'm ready. Alright, I got my speed, my maneuvering speed. Our maneuvering speed is 129, that's pretty fast, but we're over 100 miles per hour, or 90 knots, and that's why I like to keep it in, inside the white arc. We have a western heading, so we're going to start a turn. Don't bank too much now. There we go. Back under control. And we're going to start rolling this out. Not yet, not yet. 20 degrees prior. Remember, 290 will be a rollout. There you go. Now I'll start rolling out. 20 degrees prior. There we go. Western heading. 2,500. Did slow down a little bit, so let me get my speed back up. This you only reestablished. The reestablished it can only take a few a few moments. So you get a little established. Huh? We'll reestablish. And immediately roll into that opposite direction. Gotcha, okay. So that that's a different part. Is once you reestablish, you re you roll right back in. That reestablishment can it shouldn't take more than five seconds. It's too slow right now. Give it a power. There we are. There's 24 coming up. And I'm going to start rolling back out. Right. Now, back west, there we are, yep. there we go, that's my altitude back under control here, there's no western heading, alright, I want you to do that to the right again, okay, let me get back west, so to do this perfect, get on traffic,
Now that was perfect. That's how you're doing it. Alright? Every time you go. That's how I want to see it, baby. You got it. So I'm maneuvering speed. Good. Alright. Beautiful. You just lost your engine, though. Um. Let me get my speed here real quick. 80 miles an hour. There's a field right here. We've got tons of room to get there. Let me get my glide speed under control. There's where we're going to land. Let me try and start the engine. Uh, switch your fuel pump on, switching the fuel tank. Power's on for rich. I'm trying to start the engine. It's unable to start, so we're going to 121.5. So we're going to squawk 7700. Get my speed. Best glide speed again. Let me slow us down. And we're squawking 7700, issuing a mayday, mayday, mayday. The engine will not start. So, let me get us our best glide speed, which is 80 miles an hour. There we are. And we've got this. This is going to be no problem. This is going to be no problem at all, sir. We could even make that field up there if we wanted to. No, but you already put the spot. So no, we're going to stay. We're going to stay right here, sir. Don't lie. Let me get us back at 80. Going down a little too much. There we go. There we are. And I always got flaps if I need flaps. And at this point, we are high, so I would recommend saying, okay, I'm going to pull some flaps. So go ahead and pull some flaps. Get us back our glide speed. And go ahead and pull some more flaps. And you can slip it a little bit if you need to. Exactly, all the way on one opposite rudder. Full set of flaps. Oh yeah, we got this. Oh, we got it, but we still have a lot of altitude. And we're going to run into that fence if we don't lose that. Alright, let's go around. Immediately drop a set of flaps. There you go. Make sure we still clear those towers over there. Got a positive rate of climb. Second set of flaps. Going around. Got a positive rate of climb. Good speed. And we are flat free now. And we are climbing. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah, not bad at all. The only thing is, you have to judge whether or not you need to drop flaps sooner or later. Because we had a lot of excess lift there. And, you know, we could have overshot the field, is so, what I'm saying. So would you have picked that other field that I pointed to? No, I would have picked that field, okay. but I would have just started bleeding off airspeed a lot sooner since we were so close to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, uh, yeah. Or not bleeding off airspeed, bleeding off altitude. altitude yeah. Right, sure. because I know, okay, hey, when we're so close to this altitude, or to this field, you know, I need to drop a thousand feet. I need to drop 500 feet so we, we can... You know, utilize that field that I picked. Yeah. All right. So we'll stay at 1,000 feet, and okay. we'll start doing some maneuvers. At 1,000 feet. All right. And we'll do some. Uh, we'll actually do some turns around a point. Okay. All right. Um, um, and you're gonna use that white building right there. Oh, the perfect. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me uh, get us get us down a little bit more. Almost. Almost. Uh, there we are. Oh, no, he's still ahead of me. Let me get back a little bit. There we go.
building's hidden from the trees now. Oh, I see it though. Yeah, it's right on the number three screw on the wing. Keep that altitude. Don't get too fixed. Bumpy. Don't let it get in front of you. Alright, let's break off, head back to Corpa Airport, and find a nice road to do some best turns over. Uh, let's just climb up to 1500. Alright, we'll do the S turns at 1500. Um, do you want to... Uh, Tampa North? Oh, it's right there, it's Tampa North right there. Boom, never mind. We can delete that. There we go. And I like that, um, what do they call that indicator? I know it's attitude indicator, but they call it something. Probably has a name for it. You know about the $200 uh, subscription? What? Wow. It's got a name to it, you know? Yeah, I never used it, though. I think it's cool. Look at the towers and shit. the left side of Brooksville. Oh, yep. Should we be on the Brooksville frequency or are we too? Well, we're six miles away. Yeah, I'm not worried about being on their frequency. Okay. We're in, uh, this is our practice area, so we're all good and safe. We're not interrupting anybody in anybody's yeah. path. And technically, we we wouldn't hear anybody. I mean, technically, yes, some schools do have a uh, a practice frequency, but everybody, every school's practice frequency could be different. Okay. Well, it looks like we're. Oh, here's a here's a road right here. That's ten miles away. There's some miles on there though. I don't know we'll come across a uh, highway or something here shortly. 
Uh, that looks like a road here. Yep. Right here in these trees, in this tree line. Let's do that. Alright, so, um... I'll tell you what, let me, uh... Take the flight controls, please. Your controls. My controls. Oh. I'm gonna check the wind, is what I'm gonna do. Nope, and that's... That's not necessarily what you're gonna do on the check ride. Actually, no, that's well, not what you're gonna do on the check well, ride. Well, before that, I'm gonna know where the winds are coming from. Exactly. So on the check ride, your biggest thing is you're gonna think about, you're gonna come from Lakeland. So you're gonna say, at Lakeland, the winds were coming from... Exactly right. So we know the winds are coming from the north. That's exactly what I, uh, I mean, I will, uh, there's no wind at all, so we're good. All right, I'll take the controls. All right, you got the flight controls. My controls. Found a road for you. I see it. And 1500, so uh, we have a tailwind right now. So we're going to start it with a tailwind. It is, and... There we go. Let me go out a little bit, and we're gonna go to the left, away from uh, away from Lakeland. Okay, so I'm gonna start my turn. Get a little bit of power here. There's five degrees. There's ten degrees. And there's thirty degrees. Our steepest point. Get my altitude back under control. Thirty degrees. Brooksville area, northbound, Cessna 947 Zulu, uh, 6 miles north of Brooksville Airport. We are, to like to thank you. Start rolling out. Uh, 1,500 degrees. 10 degrees. 5 degrees. And our wings are now level. So we're going to start our road turn. 5 degrees. 10 degrees. There's 30 degrees, I'm at 15. There's 30 degree turn, our steepest point. Maintaining altitude. And we're going to start rolling now. There's 15 degrees. 10 degrees. And we're almost rolled out. No. We're rolled out. Nope, oh, wrong road. You messed that one up. This is our road right here. You see it? We're diagonal over the road. Yep, 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 yep. I, I do. Yeah, I was uh, looking at the wrong road. It uh, forked off uh, of us there. So, let me, uh, let me just make a uh, right turn, a left turn here. Yeah, because there's, there's just one road right there. Through the tree, you see it? Yep. We'll do that. Yeah, that one kind of uh, messed me up. I thought we were getting to the road awfully fast. Be careful on that, because that can be a failure. Roger that. Okay, so when we get to this road, uh, the wind is, uh, by then we'll be going north, so the wind is coming out of the south. So we will start our S-turns. Where are you going? What road are we using? Hey, what? What road are we using? Oh, right there. That's not the road we've been using. The road we've been using is right on your wing. Okay, we're going to start on this road right here then. And we now leveled out with that road. That road is a snake, man. There you go. Now go in that direction. Okay. We're going to go. There's a slow turn here. There's 10. There's 15. Get my altitude under control. There's 30 degrees. There's the steepest point. Back out, nice and easy. And we are now level. All right, man. Good. You're blocked. Still over 100 the, feet there. Getting the altitude back under control. 
There's 15 degrees. And there's 30 degrees, our steepest point. Getting the altitude under control here. Tracking that. 30 degrees. Getting the altitude back to 2500, or 1500. I start rolling out now. Right. There we are, we're rolling out nice and level. And let's do it again. Level. All right, you got just enough to make one good one on this side. Fifteen at the top of the arc. We're at thirty. Got the altitude under control. Over thirty, steep as bank. They're rolling it out, nice and easy. Easy roll now, start to roll out now. There's 15, there's 10, and oh, that was too soon. That was too soon. Way too soon. All right, so we're going to go to the right now. There's 30. Some. All right, we're good. All right, one thing I noticed was consistent in that is you kept letting your nose balloon when we rolled out. Kept letting the nose, when you say balloon, blow up. Yeah, balloon, and we're catching a lot of altitude on that. At one point, we almost went up 200 feet on that last one. All right, we got to maintain better control when we're coming out of those turns. A little bit more coordination so our wings roll out a bit more on it. We still have more time. Not too bad, but I know you can do better than that. I can. Alright, let's head to the airport and let's practice a couple landings. Um, I don't know if Keith is there or not, but he told me uh, no soft field landings. I can do soft field landings there, though. He, he said no soft field landings? He said don't do any more soft field landings. Because I was, I was actually, I was still had yeah, probably 150 feet before I was at the end of the runway. But he's like, you're on the brakes too hard. Uh, are those brakes are expensive. I don't want you to do any more soft field landings there. He said the what? Are expensive? Brakes. And I'm not all over the brakes, honey. And whenever I'm, whenever I'm, coast, when I'm coming back to uh, the, uh, the beginning of 3-2 to take off again, I'm only using the rubber. My feet are on the, my heels are on the, on the floorboard. So, I, you know, but I'm not going to argue with him. You know, I'm not going to do that. That's so stupid. I agree. So, I'm going to uh, turn the fuel pump off for now. Actually, I'm going to turn it back on and I'll switch uh, tanks. There we go. Alright, switch the tanks. I'm going to turn the fuel pump back off. We're just going to cruise back out. He's keeping it full rich. A nice safe altitude right here. But he's not there today, so you want to do a soft field uh, landing? Yep, you got it. I've gotten, I don't want to say I've gotten really good at him, but I've gotten much better. I've gotten much better at him. 
Yeah, yesterday Southfield landing was really good. Keeping that nose well off the ground. How you feeling about your check ride? Still pretty nervous. Yeah, that's normal. You know, and, and you know, uh, this is so far, This and this is just very fact for, you know, any aspiring pilot. So, let's let's go back in time a little bit, right? Yep. Do you recall the conversation about before I solo? Arnie, man, you, you got to be with me. I want you to be with me. Yep. Da, 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 da. And then, when it got time, when you were like, okay, you're ready to solo, I'm like, okay, get out. I was, yep. I was ready. I was ready. The same thing with the, uh, with the with the same thing happened with the landings. The same thing happened with the soft field landing, short field landing, all of the above, everything. So I know that that it won't be it, it probably won't be but a few days that I'll be able to say, yep, I'm ready, let's do it. But right now I'm a little nervous. Not bad. Well, just from today, from yesterday to today, there's a lot of improvement already. Well, essentially, I did, did the training a couple of times because I had it on tape. Right. So, we're on tape now, and I'll review the tape, listen to the radio calls, because I can hear us right now. So, uh, essentially, I mean, there's a major improvement from yesterday to today, but yesterday, our maneuvers weren't even bad, you know what I mean? It was just refreshing them. Yeah, today, you know, we did our maneuvers once, twice, maybe three times, but, you know, they were good, and like, okay, you know, enough to say that you passed your check ride, you know, everything we did was enough to say you could pass that check ride with the way you did that maneuver. Right, right. You know I mean, and that's the point. The point of the check ride is not to be perfect. Your DPE knows you're not going to be perfect. He doesn't expect it because he's like, okay, you're a private pilot with low time. He's expecting you to be pretty nervous and mess up a couple times. Okay. He is not there to fail you. He's there to make sure you're a safe pilot, you have good sound judgment, and that you understand and comprehend what you're trying to do in all of those maneuvers, and that you can do them to a good extent, right? Yep. That's what he wants to see. He wants to see you do it. You know, he, he doesn't want to see you be perfect. He's not going to say, oh, you ballooned 100 feet, you failed. He's not going to say that. He's going to see, like, oh, you ballooned 100 feet, but you immediately saw it, so you corrected it. And that's what a good pilot does. Yep. He sees something, he says something, he corrects it. He, just like he's like, right, let me get my airspeed back under control. I see I ballooned a little bit. Let me get my altitude back under control. That's what he's wanting to see. And you're doing all of that, and that's what we want for our check ride. Okay. Now, just being able to transition into everything is what, you know, I want to see too, which is good. I want you to be able to transition and feel comfortable transitioning, right? Yes, sir. But that's the part I don't want, you know, to dwell on and mess you up when he says, okay, we're going from slow flight to power on style or power up style. I want you to be able to get your mind right, say, okay, I know what's going on, let's do that, I'm transitioning into this maneuver, and it's it's like clockwork, you know what I mean? Okay. And just flowing into everything, getting everything to be a flow is also key. Roger that, okay. And the last portion is that after you've done all of these maneuvers, and he says, okay, let's go back and do some landings, it's a relief, because you just passed all that stuff. Now, all you have to do is pass the landings, and if you do your short field and soft field landings and takeoffs correct, you just pass your check ride. Right? So when you yep. come back to the airport saying, all right, let's go do some landings, and he says, take me back to Lakeland, and, you know, unless he says, ah, oh, man, no, I'm not, that was a failure or something, you know, he's going to take me back to Lakeland, you go back to Lakeland, do your landings, you pass your landings, you, you're done, you're a private pilot. And that was a good day. Yes, definitely. On to the next one. On to instrument. Yes, yes. Well, whenever, uh, whenever you you feel good, you feel confident as an instructor that uh, that I'll do well on the uh, check rope. That's when I want to start. Let's let's get into uh, IFR. I'll start listening to those uh, CDs. As well as signing up for a uh, for a course. All right. Commodore Travis Cherokee five six eight Whiskey Alpha currently ten miles to the north of the airport at two uh, one thousand six hundred. Never know traffic. And that was Tampa North. 
so how did the radio get all whacked? I saw the one, two, three. So I uh, must do that again. Seminar traffic, check E, 6A Whiskey Alpha, currently 8 nautical miles to the north at 1,500. Seminar traffic. Now you made that call, that was great. The only thing you missed in that call was what you were going to be doing. Um, well, I wasn't going to make that call until I was 5 miles out, then I was going to uh, say I'm going to overfly the airfoil at 1,500 at 45 degree and enter the left downwind of runway 32. Stop the traffic, Now, we could just enter on the left downwind for 32 instead of having to overfly. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's just roll over to the right look. There's 75 right there, bro. Yep. So we'll just enter downwind of runway 32, no problem. Change course. Yeah, I mean, to tell us not to do soft field landings at the airfield is... Yeah, I know. It's I agree. It's crazy. I, I mean, it, it, we're trying to maximize the time we have up here. So yeah. if we left and you know, went to Tampa Executive, which, I mean, we could go to Tampa Executive, but that's just adding a little bit of extra time. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. That we could be utilizing to do maneuvers. And if you're really good with your soft field landings, you know, you don't have to really utilize a ton of runway. No, right. And I mean, only if I didn't feel comfortable doing it, you know me well enough, I wouldn't do it. Right. I mean, I got, I'd go back to when we were doing that night landing from Ocala. I'm like, I got it. We're good. And we did. We had it. We're good. Seminar traffic, Cherokee 6A Whiskey Alpha, currently four nautical miles to your southwest. We will be entering left downwind runway 32 for a full stop to the FBO. Seminar traffic. And you said uh, southwest is where you were, just letting you know. Oh. Seminar traffic, Cherokee 6A Whiskey Alpha, that is four nautical miles to the northwest, not south, but northwest. And there's the airfield right there. And I tell you what, that's rough, those thermals. I tell you, Cassie hates those thermals, and I'm brothers. I bet. That was the wrong, that was actually the right day to uh, to get an airplane, but that was the wrong day to bring your wife along, buddy. I tell you, she, she said she was scared shitless. Because <laughs> I'm like, baby, we had it. We were good. Tamanor traffic, Cherokee, 6A Whiskey Alpha has entered crosswind, one way, three, two, Tamanor traffic. And drop some altitude here, and we'll turn uh, downwind in just a second. Oh my God. Add a little power, there we go. Arrest the descent. Terminal traffic, Cherokee 6A Whiskey Alpha is turning left downwind, runway 32, terminal traffic. Uh, when are we with traffic, Cherokee uh, left base turning final, final.
five, when? Right at the hospital. Pop the traffic to 97, right cross lane 15. We'll do that one more thing to go. Pop. Don't forget your before landing checklist. Your front arm, landing light on, make sure it's full rich. Actually, I should have did that at two miles out. Yes, you should have. And you're gonna keep this on your knee because yep. this is something that your check ride you got a reference. Seven or traffic, Jackie. Six eight whiskey. Alpha is turning left base. Runway three two. Seven or traffic. Yeah, I, I knew to uh, keep that dude right there for uh, for easy reference, and I will. Uh huh. I will. So after we, whenever we get finished, you know, doing these, uh, you know, these maneuvers, that's when you uh, transition into the examiner. Yep. And at that point, I know that I am with a, uh, a passenger slash examiner, and um, um, it'll be the real thing. Seminar traffic, Cherokee 6 8 Whiskey Alpha turning final. Runway 32, full stop to the FBO. Seminar traffic. Nice, easy, smooth turn here. Nice. 650 feet, which is right on course. Right on course. I roll out of this turn center line with 3 2. Across the interstate will be around between 200 and 250 feet. And I might have my third set of flaps. Uh, reduce power a little bit, not much, just a little bit. <laughs> 500 feet and dropping slowly. There we go, that's good. I like to cross the interstate right around. 250 feet is what I, where I'm typically at, is 250. This airspeed under control. Nose down, there we go. Perfect. Good teacher, man. Good teacher. Put the weight on the wheels. Damn our traffic, Cherokee 6 8 Whiskey Alpha is back taxiing on runway 32 to the FBO. Damn our traffic. A smooth jazz voice.
Say again, I, I don't have my feet on the brakes at all. I guess he thinks that I'm hauling ass up this runway riding the brakes. But when he said that, I kind of looked at him like he had worms falling out of his ears. Terminal traffic, Cherokee 6 8 Whiskey Alpha has exited runway 32. Terminal traffic. And I got another student, so you can just park it next to the pump. Okay. Yeah, you need gas in your left tank. So I'll put the uh, left tank over there by the pump. Oh, you could have left it right there. No. No, I couldn't. Jordan was uh, flagging me. Oh, he was flagging you to move? Yeah. Yeah, he come running out there like his hair was on fire, so.